Hey, it's me, Pro Jared. Welcome back to Abandoned Ship, where everything's great. Oh, it is great. Look, food. Uh oh. Oh, what? You sail within range of a verdant isle. A ship is anchored off the coast while its crew load rowboats with cages of large birds. They appear to be great ox, a docile bird known to grow as tall as a man. The birds are a rare sight, and it looks like the hunters have cleared the local area of them entirely. Oh. While expensive due to their rarity, their meat is excellent. The captain of the other vessel will surely be open to trading away from any ports and their associated taxes. Say no, or I can get 66 food for 65 gold. That's pretty good. That's normally like half the cost of a, uh, of normally what it is. Because normally before it was like 20 gold for 10 food. So this would normally, to so get this much food would normally cost like 120 or something like that. But I also want to have money for upgrading supplies. I'm going to say no, because I'm okay on food at the moment. Man, I hope that's the right choice. Ooh, well, we got a couple things right here. Let's check the ship first. Pops of light on the horizon bid you look through your spyglass, which reveals a battle between two ships. One is much larger, and the other is clearly much longer for this world. Spotting you, the smaller puts up a distress signal, while the other raises a pirate flag. The signals leave us alone, and you'll get a share. Oh, another one of these, huh? I want to help the small guys again. You signal your intent, and immediately the pirates have a change of heart. You've called their bluff. They change course, but not before firing a valedictory volley in into their victims. You make haste to check on your crew. You're rescued. Oh, I rescued someone! As you approach the ship, you notice it sustained heavy battle damage and will not stay afloat much longer. Few of the crew remain, and most of them are severely injured. You doubt the last of the night. One survivor who escaped harm entirely begs to enjoy your crew. Hooray! We got the Gerard replacement. Just kidding. No one can replace him. Uh, oh, it's Harper. Uh, Medic. Great. Let's rename you. Uh, what's, what's, how about Heidi? There we go. Awesome. Okay, so now I've got one of I've got one of everyone. Cool. I'm alright with that. Let's get her check the ship real fast. I need to set her position. So I know it says medic, but I'm gonna give you a gun. There we go. Back to exploration. Whoops, wrong button. This one. Let's see what's going on here. A sentry calls a warning. You pull out your spyglass and peer in the direction of the lookout is pointing in. You see trails in the water moving at an unnatural speed directly toward the ship. There's no time to do anything other than prepare it. Oh, Halfron. Shit. That's a lot of them. Uh, oh, these are all going to be pretty hard. Ah! I could try to turn the grape shot around and shoot him, but I don't feel like that would go well. Oh, myself and this editor are getting beat up. Run to the sick bay. Oh, shit. Oh, God, this editor's freaking dying. Run? All right, that actually kind of worked. Oh, acid. Get away from the acid. Uh, only two left. Everyone focus. Get away from the acid. Duh. Huh. Oof. Oof. It's the game. See, we got Heidi. She's healing. She's healing people. She was helping. Probably would have better just to have her heal instead of fight during all of that, but I didn't know. Alright. God damn it. We're okay. Everything's okay. Uh, I don't think we I want to go left. As the uh, great library or whatever we're going to is to the northeast. Oh. Oh, oh. This one's smoking and the uh, smoking one. 
You approach a strangely slow-moving ship with only a few visible crew. Suspicious. Looking more closely, you can see what looks like a human bone in a corner of the deck and other signs of cannibalism. Uh, if we help them now, we may save lives and souls by giving them 15 food. Or fuck them. Fuck them. You spot a fly a ship flying Artisan's Guild colors. Such an affluent ship will no doubt have skilled workers aboard that will perform emergency repairs and ample stocks of resupplies for sales. Oh, cool. Ooh, purchase supplies. 33 food for 20 gold. That's awesome. I'll take that. And then uh, patch us up. Cool. I like that. I think that's good. Let's see. And the gate to the east is now open, so I can start heading that way. I'll still explore, and basically when the Kraken shows up, I'm out. Another ship. Hello, friend. Your ship is on course to pass by a vessel of uncertain origin. It sits low in the water. It must be heavily laden with cargo. Ooh. Oh, like attack them? I just want to barter with them. Nope, we're attacking. All right. <laughs> uh, ooh, ooh, we should not. We should not sink them. For if they are laden with cargo, we shouldn't shot sink said cargo. We'll have to be careful with our shots. All right, a single motor onto the uh, sick bay. Start taking out sails. Uh, actually, shots the sails in general. So I've been moving on them. Yes! Oh, fuck. Was that a dirt? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, so I can start loading up the uh, chain shots where you injure the crew so I can board them. God damn. Take out the sail some more. Good. Start getting closer. I just want that ramming speed. Good. A little bit more. Yep, we're okay. One more shot to the sails. Good. Alright, this needs to be just uh, still needs to be just a little bit closer. A little bit closer now. Uh wait, oh, wrong button. Uh, bang! Yes! Alright, good. Uh, no more shots. Just go heal yourselves up, because we're about to go board them. Ramming speed! Please don't destroy them! Brace for impact! As we're leaking... Urgh, damn! Well... Look, they're a small ship, and they're pretty fast. Damn. We got 22 gold out of it, though. Something. Wah, wah. <laughs> Woohoo! Money. Are you friendly? You're on course to pass within a range of another vessel. As the distance closes, they raise flags, indicating they surrender. But they're really going to give up the goods. Uh, we have no intention of attacking. Oh. I was kind of hoping they'd be like, thanks, and they would just give us stuff. Oh, there's the port. Even though the cultists are super close. I'm going for the port anyway. Okay, what do you got? Section damager? A cannon that trades high section damage for no hull damage. Hull cracker. Hull destroyer. Uh, what are your upgrades? A winch, which I got. Basic crow's nets, I got. Harpoons. Could put harpoons on it. No, I'm actually okay on that. I got a good amount of food. Oh, I should go to the tavern. Can I sell people? Oh, you can't dismiss them. Okay. I don't want to dismiss anyone, though. I like them. Man, what? Gold? Up to gold? How is that possible? 
Dang. Well, whatever. I have my crew, and I like my crew, so... Eh. Uh... I should put mine repairing just a little bit. <laughs> uh, let's... Max out that cannon. Yeah, maybe I can swap these cannons out? Or something... Good. These sell for 15 each, so that's 30 gold. Give me up to 160. Which allow me to get a Hullcracker or a Section Damager. Probably not worth it right now. Uh, if, they, if they had better upgrades here, I'd probably grab. Well, no, I can. I could sell my old plating and get the better plating. For 20% damage reduction instead of 10. That's all my money. I could also try to upgrade these. Third mass means it travels faster. Maneuver bar or better healing. How let's get the improved sales. That sounds good. Do I move faster around here? Ooh, money! Tight, we're out. Crack is probably coming. Yep, 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 we're going. Yep, we're going. You'll never take me alive! Ha ha ha! Close. Landfall was the first major colony set up by settlers from the Empire, and fast grew into their capital. It remains one of the only islands to still keep the old ways since the Empire fell. It is therefore safe from the cult's influence, for now. The vaulted college here is home to the remnants of the artificers, and remnants and remains the greatest repository and seat of learning in the known world. They also got this barrel of money. So is like the purple water's generally more dangerous water? Oh, there's no threat of cultist attack here, so that's good. So I am free to explore. Good. Let's load up on stuff. I mean, that's what that means. Clear blue waters means no cultist threat. Has anyone else played this yet, by the way? Like before... Oh, I found it. It's huge. Holy shit. What's over here? <laughs> uh, but So even before like I started this series, has anyone in the comments actually played this game yet? Because this is pretty... Pretty recently released, not even released, it's uh, an early access game. Uh, but it seems pretty solid as an early access game. Thus far, I don't think I quite like it more than, say, FTL. But within the same spirit of that kind of game, I think this one is still pretty good. All more money. I do enjoy these kinds of games. I haven't done an FTL playthrough on the channel at all, but that game's freaking hard. I think I've only beaten it like twice. Uh, once on easy and once on normal. I've gotten close to being uh, FTL on hard, but you know, that final boss fight sucks. Basically when the drones come out, so when I usually get boned. But anyway, that's a different game. Let's focus on this one. Uh, it's gonna be one of those. So there aren't gonna be any events around until I go to the uh, actual port first. Cause it's still gated off, so I'm... Looks like I only have an exit to the north. All right, let's go see what this place is about. Your crew will look at the port expectantly. They are already planning on where they will spend their money during shore leave. Local shops, tavern, rail. Oh, oh, so there's another upgrade shop. A shore shot. A shore shot can prioritizes accuracy over damage. High accuracy, especially at far range. Low damage to hull section, low crew damage. Compared to this, which is moderate. 
Health really matters. Oh, flamer! Round shot cannon that causes fires to start. Low hull damage, low crew damage, but moderate chance of starting fires. Fires is hilarious. I kind of want that attackler. Stuns individual crew. Infinite range. High chance of knocking crew overboard. Ooh, I kind of like that. Instead of the grape shot. So the Just because being able to stun the crew and be able to slow down their uh, weapon loading or repairs or whatever. So I never actually killed anyone with the grape shot. I've injured them, but if I can knock them out or even just knock them overboard before boarding, I, th I think I'll try it. Let's sell the grape shot and get the tackler. That'll be different. We also have upgrades basic crow's nest, hull's armor, automatic water pumps. So I don't. As I do have water pumps uh, back here, so if there's too much water on the ship, uh, you can like pump it to help drain it. You can also get automatic ones, which I don't really need right now. I'm good on food. I've got 50 gold still. Um, what kind of ship do I have? I've got hull health 6,000. That's pretty good. So it's like at least a brig. So only going up to like... A sloop will be an actual upgrade at this moment. I don't know why you would want to go smaller. I don't know on that. Uh, I don't know why I keep looking here because it just makes me sad. All right, let's visit the Great Library. You've never been to Landfall before. It's quite spectacular. The vaulted college looms atop the island's greatest plateau and a mossy but still serviceable path meanders up to it. You arrive at the imposing, aging, but still elegant complex. You soon track down the correct wing and an artificer where there greets you disdainfully. I am Voltaire. What knowledge must you seek? She asks, the tone of her voice and the arc of her eyebrow making it clear she is following the bare minimum of custom. I want to fight the Kraken. She's taken aback. There's often a truth to sailors of tales, but no proof exists of this one. Some kind of large whale is what you most likely saw. I think the mind-healing wing may be a better destination for you. Bitch, I fought one! <laughs> she looks at you. She looks at you, askance. Unsure whether you are stark raving or merely fooling with her. You realize you had better tread carefully. Alright, so if it did exist, how would I fight it? Well, whales will suffice with time. Will surface with time. If time is not something you have, then a huge blast of pressure beneath or very close to it should make surface. How would I do that? You seem to have appealed to her analytical mind, at least. Well, sad tale. There's once an empire mining interest on an island, barren on the surface, but astoundingly rich in minerals below. The miners discovered a deep vein of metal, but learned the very hard way that it reacted violently to water. Half the mountain was vaporized. Go on! Some of the miners on the colony survived, but have since become a somewhat unhinged people who seem to thrive on the fatalism of staying somewhere in er an errant rivulet that could result in an explosive end. I believe they call the place Devil Rock now. Go on! I've even heard rumors of them using nuggets of Devil Rock to fish, a barbarically risky but effective method. Of course, they don't like outsiders and haven't been forthcoming in donating any of for research. Let me show you on your chart. If you happen to pay them a visit, I'd be I'd be indebted if you could bring back some supplies. All right, so I need to go to Devil Rock. Cool, man. Where would I find that? Oh, fuck. <laughs> well. All right. So now I gotta do all the events. Uh, oh, a person, food, boats. All right, got a couple I wanna check out here. Let's we'll start with down here. Starting with a lifeboat. A lifeboat is seen in the distance. Let's we'll check them out. Oh, did I press the wrong one? I think I just left him to die. Whoops, it happens. Oh, this ship's on fire, let's check it out. 
Sailing within range of a stationary vessel, you can see that they are in trouble. The crew are desperately pumping water from the ship, but there's not enough to fix all the hull cracks that are scattered across the deck. We should help them. You're not even halfway there and they die. Fuck. <laughs> I can... There's no uh, cultists here, so I can actually spend my time and go and check out everything. Which I think I will. They pass close to a stationary ship, only it seems totally abandoned. All is not right here. Let's go for it. The ship is utterly deserted. For whatever reason, the departed left a number of valuables. 20 gold. Ay. A bunch of food up here that I want. Yes. Give me some of that. Oh, it's another trading one. Oh, it's another great auk. No. I will not eat your birds. A hostile looking ship is en route to attack. As the sail is in range, the captain recklessly faints and flings the ship around. Position your opposite side. Oh, it's one of these. Uh, no amount of trickery will save them from a wretched fury or attempt to even the odds of returning to your normal position. Alright, Ian, you're such a navigator. Do it. Nope, didn't work. Which means. Yeah, so we're currently on opposite ends. Alright, we can make this work. Yeah. So as soon as Ian can turn us around, he will. Oh, there he goes. When I get close, you want some of this? Wait, no, hold on. <laughs> These are our new, our new toy. You sh oh, they do have hull spikes though, so we won't be ramming them. Uh, let's fuck up. Oh, they have a lot of cannons. Oh, they're shooting us. Not cool. I'll show them a little bit. Now if you can start knocking their asses over. Oh boy! God damn. Yeah, they're uh, their kids are no jokes. Oh, uh, so I can get one of them. Take out the captain. Thunk. <laughs> Bye, bitch. <laughs> Drowned his ass. Fuck you. Oh yeah, he's like drowning. Are they even gonna try to save him? Bloop. Guess not. Bye. It's not a bad idea. If I could just take out each one individually. Uh, take out the helmsman. Bonk. I only Tepper really knocked him down. Didn't quite last as long as I would have liked. Oof. Oh, nice. Breach the hull a little bit. Let him take on water. Got another. Ha ha ha. Just trying to see if I could just motor that one poor dude in the water. Oh, we're starting to fire. Hell yes. Yo. All right, they're down to one person. At this point, they can't even fire. So I think if I just... Uh, just try to shoot him and knock that last person overboard, then we'll get all their stuff. That's how he is healing people. Oh. Dare run over to the cannons. Bloop. Bloop. Nice. Dude, this new gun is awesome. This is way better than just trying to injure them and gram them. Especially when everyone's got spikes. No one's there to help you. Goodbye forever. Uh, bloop, bloop, bloop. Nice. 38 gold and 16 food. That was sick. That felt good. Slaughtering another crew. Mmm. Hey, more food. Is it actual food or is it another traitor? Actual food! 16! Yay! Uh, is there anyone else I can go still? Got a sinking man there and he's the last one. Okay. This better not be like a horror font or something. Oh. You are making your way to the castaway. When you get there, he is alive but doesn't respond to you, even acknowledge you. He has clearly been driven insane by his exposure. It'll be too risky to bring someone that unstable on board. So you leave. You watch him while you depart. He didn't even know you were there. Oh, that made us sad. 
It's fine. We're still doing okay. 50 morale, still pretty good. All right, to Devil Rock. Wait, let's go back and repair a little bit before we go. I can still do that, right? Am I allowed to go back? I am, good. Alright, get some repairs in. 50 gold for a full repair. Two, one, two, three, four, five. 25%. Still feeling pretty good. I feel like this game is a little bit easier than FTL. A little bit more forgiving at least. I could be completely wrong, we'll see. I'm I am going my way to my place called Devil Rock. Ooh, where do I go? Uh Dish one. I'm sure it's okay. Ooh. These look like danger waters. Yeah, we got the Cult tracker. So let's just try to find our things and get out of here. So if you get the improved crow's nest, it allows, it allows you to uh, search this map better as you have an extended range. So I kind of want that. Uh, is there fucking nothing? Oh, there's some money. Some food and another survivor. Ooh. Waters lap against the frosty shore, swiftly turning a deep red from the walrus being carved and skinned by the hunters. It's a stomach tur turning sight, but you know by reputation the hunters are keen and honest traders, and they'll be desperate for something to eat other than walrus. Unless I can buy some walrus from them or sell them some food. I have 74 food. Yeah, I'll, I'll take some money. 10? Oh boy. You wonder how long the castaway had seen you and been desperately waving, but was invisible in the vast expanse of ocean that surrounds you. You're close to him now, but as you pull closer, you see something surprising. He's a cultist! Take him aboard. Nah, leave him to his god. Eat shit, cultist. You hadn't really paid much attention to their ship until they began signaling they surrender. Give us your stuff? Hell yeah, 38 gold. I know I should feel bad about that. But I don't. Just trying to more find more advanced. Oh man, I'm definitely gonna get crackened. The rats have grown so numerous and aggressive they've begun to take it to attacking lone seamen to venture into the hold. Ah, oh, a bunch of rats ate our food. Shit! Why did I sell food? Now I don't have any food left. Do you guys have any food? Sailing within range of a stationary vessel, you can see that they're in trouble. Let's help. Ah, fuck! <laughs> Despite your crew's best efforts, they're unable to help save the vessel and begins to disintegrate and one of your crew plummets down out of sight with no time to rescue him. Back on your ship, the surviving captain gives you an expensive piece of his jewelry as thanks. Ian just friggin' drowned. Damn it. Ah, uh, this is really messing with my crew. Alright, I guess I'll take up the helm. Ah, oh, that sucks. He's one of the few people who actually got a skill up. Oh, apparently I skilled up in gunning. Great. <sighs> that really sucks. Uh, oh, sunken ship. Please be okay. Oh, uh, find a small chest and we fish it out. You prize open the lock and find 22 gold. I can't go anywhere without food. It usually costs like 25 food to travel, and I'm down to 14. So I basically... Oh, 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 oh. Yes, 33. Whew, okay, we're okay again. Is it enough to escape, though? Only six. As the drive boat, lifeboat drifts closer, it's empty except for some food. Okay, so I have an escape route, but with two... Nope. Oh, oh god, that was like a cultist ship just zooming for us. 
Uh, this actually kind of goes closer to Devil Rock, so this seems okay. Goodbye, cultists. Thank you I mess with you today. Oh, it's more purple waters. There's no way this will be good. Hello. As you enter into new seas, you notice a ship launch a volley at a much smaller vessel. Another one of these, huh? Oh. All right. All right, they don't have ship spikes. I don't think. Or maybe they do. These might be ship spikes. Maybe we're going to try to knock them out. Oh, what? Can I, I can't tell what gun that is. I don't have a proper crow's nest. What the hell? Bar shot hit temporarily frozen? Don't? Uh, well. Fuck that guy. <laughs> That's what you get, bitch. <laughs> How am I doing? So far, so okay. Okay, we're okay. Just gonna hammer on my steering wheel. I think I want to be closer away. Take out the captain. Bonk. Yes! Oh, that's so satisfying. This is the best gun. I feel like it's knocking them overboard a little more often than it should be. Like, it shouldn't be that good. That's what we do. Just gonna keep knocking them out. Beep, beep, beep. Ding! <laughs> this is the best weapon! I should just have only these. I wanna get so much stuff out of you. You're next, bitch. Oh no, you're taking on water. What will you do? You better repair it really fast. Oh, I just knocked him down that time. I'm gonna chill for a second. I don't wanna. I don't wanna quite kill him. Well, no. I take that back. I should do a lot of work on getting the uh, gunner skill increase. Ooh. There we go. Ah, the ship is ours. <laughs> I'm still having fun. <laughs> Your crew salad with the can. Only 22 gold, that's it. I was really hoping for way more than that. All right, we're slowly making our way towards Devil Rock though. And uh, despite losing some pretty key personnel, we're still doing okay. I got a good amount of food and money and this new knockover gun is pretty much the best. I'm really enjoying that. Don't forget to like this video. It really helps me out so that other people can see it. Make sure it gets the subscription feeds. Uh, subscribe if you aren't already. Uh, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And as always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time.